I just come outside to the 2014 Chevrolet Cruze RS. I don't know what that means. Real sick. And the uh, customer tells me that his fans are on more than normal and that he hears them turning on going down the road, which I thought was odd. Because that's kind of an odd complaint. You don't, you, you don't hear that much. Just coming up on I turn that thing off. Apparently you don't turn it off. I'm gonna have to hop in here so the dinger quits dinging. Let's see here, 14 Chevy Cruise. Uh, I don't know. Gosh dang it. According to the RPO codes, this is a Chevy Love. Who remembers the Chevy Love? Not this guy, he ain't that old. But it was a vehicle. Checking the glow plug control module. <laughs> Hopefully not. And it has 75 on it. I'm curious to know if he if the fans perhaps are making noise and he's hearing them now. Radio UF7. Oh my gosh. UF7. This got UF7. Oh man, I gotta scooch over. This has a U2K. Who remembers Y2K? I do remember that. Panic. Let's see. U. Oh man. Hold on, folks. This is weird doing it one handed. We got a UQA, UJM. What were we looking for? A UF7. Are these in alpha ABC order? UC, UD, UE, UFU. So, no. Okay. Wow. Glad we got that sorted out. Other. Not that it probably matters. Uh, what was I saying? I'm curious to know if perhaps he's just hearing his fans where he couldn't hear them before, but fans typically don't come on when you're cruising down a road and he says they it comes on. <sighs> KL9. You got me. <laughs> okay, does not have KL9. Not equipped. I don't even know what I was saying a minute ago. No codes, okay, that's good. Let's see what the fans sound like, see if they're ridiculously loud or something. Engine coolant thermostat, engine coolant thermostat heating and cooling fan, that's interesting. Let's just go through these before we even do anything to make sure everything sounds normal. And I asked him, I was like, well, are you just hearing the fans because the AC is on? And he claims that's not the case. I don't hear anything. I did hear a relay click. Uh, let's see here. That's a cooling fan relay one. We'd have to look at a diagram to see what that means in particular. Alright, let's back out of here. Let's do cooling fans one, two, and three. Just trying to get a little baseline here before we do anything. Alright, you can definitely hear them. Alright, and then we'll back back out and check the other bi-directional control here. Oops, that's because I gotta push a button if we want to do that. Let's do two and three. I'm not hearing anything there. That's interesting. Let's pop the hood. I guess. Let's see. Dongers right there. Let's turn those back on. Let's go out and see if maybe these are just low speed and we don't hear it. Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. Pattern's full. What we need to know now is uh, is our scan tool lying to us or is there really an issue? Let's just have a gander here. Does this thing come off? 
Oh, you gotta give her a little squeeze. That's nice. How many relays do we actually have is the question. Uh, never trust your scan tools ever, 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 ever. And then let's see here, those relays we have, cooling fan K2, K3, and cooling fan K7. So we do have three relays, HC relays, we have one, two of those. Okay, very interesting. So there's a bunch of relays. <coughs> I'm wondering if perhaps the maybe the low speed relay isn't working the only one that's working is this combination thereof where you you know the high speed turns on maybe he's hearing that I don't know what this is Tell you what, let's just fire this pig up. Let's see, let's kick the AC on. Let's see what's happening under the hood. AC is on. Yeah, there we go. Let's just go see for grins and giggles. If the fans are running or if all of a sudden they just whip on on high speed. We have no fan. Let the AC run for a little bit. Compressor's on. Go sit back in the car and see if we can find in our data pids a command for the cooling fan. So does it want it on right now? I would think it would. AC is blown cold. I'm just curious if it you know jumps out and gets really hot, then just defaults to a high high-speed fan and that's why he's hearing it now uh, let's see I'll see if I can find us some data desired versus actual and whatnot I'm gonna set you down and poke through this and so here's the data list I found I did turn the AC back off I'm gonna turn it back on one click here I don't hear any fans let's see I thought I heard them briefly here when I was looking for data here Cooling fans, two and three relays commanded on. It's starting to ramp up because I'm sure AC pressure is building, therefore temperatures. Yep, there it goes. Fan is on, hopefully you guys can hear it. It just turned off. So that's his problem, that's what he's hearing. I guarantee it. So whatever the two, three command here is, when all three of them are on, it kicks on high speed, so there is, but it appears to be some kind of duty cycle control so we're gonna have to look at a diagram there's obviously an issue with the fans here yep there it goes again okay so that's what he's hearing he's uh, let's see if we add uh, AC high side pressure to this we're gonna see what happens here so high you know so high side pressure is gonna be pretty close to temperature uh, you know so we're gonna be about 300 degrees right now and then our pressure should drop immediately, and it does, okay. All right, no sense in letting this sit here and cycle. This is clearly the issue. Okay, so we need, at this point, so we didn't have to drive the car, see, that's handy. Uh, shut my door. Turn this back on. Car's back on, and then what we'll do, is there anything under special functions that's of any use? There is not. So active tests. Ooh, turbo. That's fun. Cooling fans, the two and three. We had no functionality there. Let's just double check. I do hear some clicking under the hood, so like relay something like that. Okay, good to know. Let's look up theory and operation on these fans. So I got the diagram. I did check for service boltons. There are no boltons on it. Uh, pretty semi-complex system here. Uh, didn't really look into who feeds who, powers, and all that stuff here at the 
uh, relays yet because I noticed one thing. Uh, of course, this is a color diagram, so these are always wrong. Uh, they show a, a high speed, a low speed, and a medium speed relay. And I did notice down here on the fan itself, it has the fan motor, and this is how they're controlling the speeds, which is kind of kind of neat for a single fan. We have one ground. Let me enhance. We have one ground. Uh, I'm assuming yellow is going to be high speed. Let's see. That is high speed. I'm right. Look at me go. And then we have another, you know, high, medium, low, or high, low, medium, what you, whichever. They run through resistors, basically. So before we even get all silly and start checking powers and relays and stuff like that, let's go right to the fan and see when we put it on high, we obviously know our yellow wire gets power, but let's unplug it and see if which one of these is low. That's gray, gray is medium. So pin three is medium, pin four is high, pin two is low. Let's see if we have power down to this when we turn our, um, our relays on if we do then we know we just have a bad famous fan assembly we really don't care how the relay mumbo jumbo works but if we kick it on and we don't have any power down here then then we'll back trace it but instead of trying to figure out how the whole system works let's just go right to the right to the fan first hey how's it going buddy all right so this is a big old connector up here i assume that's the one let me just take a little gander here, see what color the wires are. White, blue, yellow, gray, and black. I can't see how many wires are in this thing, but let's try to get it unplugged. It's a big old honky town. Holy smokes. There we go. Woo! Hallelujah. Alright, white, blue. Yellow, gray, and black. White, blue, yellow, gray, and black. All right. So let's find the black because that's our ground. I got our. We can use a high amp test light on this. So that is black. Is this big honky tonk over here? So I'm gonna probe into the black. These connectors are huge. Now we're gonna probe into yellow, which we know should work. So we'll go back to some bi-directional controls here. And it's hard to see with the daylight. We're gonna go fans one, two, and three. This should light up with high speed. I believe the one, two, and three relay was high speed. Boom, that's hot. Okay, we'll turn that off. Uh, we'll stay in the ground there. Or just yank it out one or the other. We're gonna go cooling fan relay number one. Now this is gonna be low speed or medium speed probably low and I'm going to turn it on I'm gonna probe a ground and I'm gonna check the other two wires there so let's probe into a ground I'll check this wire hey look at that that one's hot that one's not so that is low speed or medium one or the other we'll turn it off turn it on okay so that is relay fan number one which ended up being the white with blue so technically when we turn on the other one one and two the gray wire should become hot and carry four amps so let's back out to relay fans two and three rather wait for this to boot up then we'll turn that one on and if everything's good this should light up boom just the lack of that, we're done. We don't even need to know how it works. We just know it does. And now, we can make the call on the cooling fan assembly. Because I assume this big resistor pack that this thing plugs into is not available separate. That's connected back in just for the hell of it. Let's turn it back on to make sure it wasn't just crappy connection, but there's some nice looking spades, so. Turn it on. Click. Nothing. Nothing. Needs a new fan. Just like that, we're done. It's quick. It's easy. Do we know how it works? Nope. Do we care? Not really. We just know that's what it needs. We didn't even have to pull it inside or drive it. Let's make the call. There you have it, folks. That was pretty easy. Hopefully, we kind of followed along. I know it was 
I don't want to say it was fast paced, but it wasn't. It was more using, you know, logic theory, looking at it. And like, well, you know, we hear the relays clicking, one, two, and three are working. Those other relays are probably closing. Didn't spend a lot of time on the diagram as soon as I seen the fan had three separate inputs and we knew one of those inputs was working. So that verifies, you know, the ground is good. The fan can spin. Um, what else does that verify? You know, without looking at a diagram, they probably are fed off similar powers or the same power. You know, I don't know without going back to look. So in my mind, that seemed to be the easiest, simplest thing to do. Let's not lose track on, you know, getting down rabbit trail and like, oh, how do these relays work? What's the theory and operation on this fan? Stuff like that. Just go right to the fan motor. Boom, here we go. It's a high current circuit stuff four amps and everything lights up, the fan motor itself is bad or the actual resistor that it plugged into. It looked like it was a resistor built into that shroud. And so the, the air from the fan can cool that resistor because I assume it gets quite hot. Typically on cars, they'll have, let's say two cooling fans and they'll use a three relay system and they'll use the fan itself as a resistor. So they'll hook two fans in series. So both of them will run at you know, half the speed. Uh, that's how they do that. It's a pretty, pretty good system. You don't see that fail too much. Honda's a big fan of that. A lot of customer, customers, a lot of companies that run the two fan system with three relays, that's how they do it. You know, they can run them both on high or one on high or two on low. So uh, we'll do that someday when one of those comes in broken, if it ever does. I'm gonna order a fan for that. If I get the job, which I probably will, we'll record that process and verify the repair. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that, go down, click subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified if and when that video ever comes out. Leave any questions, comments, criticisms, or concerns down there. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.